I honestly can't believe they did it. I can't believe they did it. <laughs> Serious question, has Sakani been watching my reviews of the Kinvaras over the years, or are they just trolling me? When I opened the box to the Kinvara Pro, I was a bit taken aback. The Kinvara has returned to what I'd consider its original glory as a responsive, energetic, cushioned trainer and race-ready road kick. It's almost like Sakani realized that the Kinvara has continued to change over the years and they wanted to revive its popularity, but rather than fix what they had, they inflated the existing shoe into a super shoe wannabe but in the best way possible. Dual midsoles, Power Run and Power Run PB, stack on each other with a sneaky little carbon plate in between for good measure. What results is a super fun, fast and energetic road shoot that's ready for anything. So can the Kinvara Pro revive this shoe's ability to go the distance and crush marathon distances without the super shoe price tag? Are there just too many competitive options out there at this point? We have lots to talk about. Kinvara Pro, let's dive in. What is up everybody, Ethan Ray, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. This is gonna be a fun one. Sit back, relax. We're talking about the Saucony Kinvara Pro. I honestly can't believe that they did it. They took the Kinvara and then they just like pumped it full of helium. Before we dive into this review, a couple of caveats. Have you considered joining the GR crew? No? Well, you should. There's a link in the description that will take you over to our Patreon page where you can join the amazing community of runners just like yourself from around the world. We have a Discord server, daily live streams, fun merch, that you can get whether you're in the crew or not. Links are also in the description and it's just a lot of fun. So consider supporting the channel and getting some cool perks on the back end. Second, the Ginger Runner disclaimer. This shoe was provided for review by Running Warehouse. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative. I'm not financially compensated in any way for anything that I say in this review. No one has to approve it. You're the first to see it. Give yourself a pat on the head because you're awesome. So let's dive in with the basics, the things that I like and dislike about the Kinvara Pro. Starting as always, with the things that I like. It's like the original. It has the essence of the original Kinvara that I loved, uh, but even more so. So the original Kinvara to me was sort of like this cushioned road flat that felt really light and nimble, uh, responsive, flexible, kind of had all of these qualities that helped run a marathon in a way that was comfortable, fun, and didn't leave you in a lot of pain at the end. Well, marathons, you're always gonna be in pain. But the Convara was just like one of my favorite shoes. Over the years, they've gotten less and less cushioned. They've gotten more responsive, lower to the ground. They just feel like they've lost their luster to me. The Convara Pro kind of gets me back to that original joy in the Convara. Just turned up which can be a good thing. The cushion, so we're talking Power Run and Power Run PB. You can actually see the two different materials here just from the outside. It's a lot underfoot, uh, but it doesn't lose a lot of its dynamicism, like the fun and joy that you're gonna get from really flexing through the shoe and getting that snappy toe off. It's a fun experience to have in a Kinvara or a Kinvara Pro, which is it's just an entirely different shoe. I, I don't know, I really like the cushion in this. It just feels like it's back. And I kind of mentioned it, the roll through. So right here from the side profile, you'll notice that the shoe actually feels pretty flat. But if you're rolling from midfoot up through forefoot, you have a really nice curve, which helps you feel propulsion. That in addition to the carbon plate helps that snap and energy return. So we're getting a lot of fun stuff happening in a shoe that has its origins based in what I would consider sort of the first version of the Convara. I, I just feel like the Convara has lost its way. The Convara Pro might be steering us back on track. I'm excited. That being said, it's not all pumpkin spice scones smothered in whipped cream and tunnel tickets to the next Seattle Kraken game. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Convara Pro. Let's get to those now. The break-in. So I still feel like I'm breaking this shoe in. Even though I have about 60, 65 miles in it, I'm opening it up more and more with each run and I'm like, oh yeah, this is feeling better. And I feel like I can get another 40, 50 miles in the shoe before it like really feels right. That's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, I like them right out of the box, but I feel like I like them a lot more the more you wear them. So just expect a lot of break-in in this shoe. The Endorphin series. So Saucony isn't just known for the Kinvara. They're also known now for their Endorphin series, Endorphin Speed, Endorphin Pro, which I love. Their Power Run PB midsole material, the carbon plate, the Pivax plate, all of that in the Endorphin line feels great. The problem is, is those shoes feel so good and now they have a couple of versions to kind of get their feet underneath themselves that the Convara Pro feels a bit lost. Like, yeah, it feels good and it's fun and it's like, hey, the Convara's back, but the Endorphin's already here and already like 
cracking home runs. So uh, is it going to get lost in people's radar? Possibly. And I'd almost consider the endorphin a bit better of an option. And finally, price. It's $180. Whoo boy! It's a lot of money to spend on a shoe that really has no outsole, uh, which is Kinvara through and through, right? Um, but again, we're talking about comparing this to, just within the Saucony line, the Endorphin. Uh, Endorphin Speed, one of my favorite shoes. And we're talking price points, where the Convara Pro may not stand out enough to set it apart. So yeah, super shoe, but I don't know, so is the Speed, so is the Pro. Speed roll technology, power run, PB, like it's got it all, but just maybe a bit more resiliency or responsiveness compared to the Endorphin Speed. So I, I don't know, I'm, I'm really torn on it. <sighs> That's it for dislikes. Okay, let's get a bit more specific in our breakdown. We're talking about build quality, comfort, fit, price, and look, starting with build quality. It's built great. I think it carries over a lot of what makes previous versions of the Kinvara really, really good. Kind of has that traditional breathable mesh. Uh, the PB and the Power Run midsoles are great. Can, in combination with that carbon plate, you do get a very durable shoe. And I think, again, now 60, 65 miles in it, there's still a lot of break in left. Comfort, it's a comfortable shoe, but not in a way where it's like a hoka where it just like kind of absorbs your foot and gives you all that cushion soft goodness for long runs. It's a dynamic shoe and you're gonna get a lot of that through the midfoot forward, that roll through. It's, it's comfortable when you pick up the pace and it does feel familiar to those earlier Convaras. F lacking some of that flexibility, but you throw a carbon plate in anything and it's gonna be a bit stiffer. Fit. Great fit, very traditional, very Saucony-like, very Kinvara-like, and that is a good thing because I think the people who are familiar with that shoe are gonna be right at home here in the Kinvara Pro. Price, $180, already mentioned it. I think it's a bit steep, but I understand what you're getting here. Man, I just wish this replaced the Kinvara through and through. Take the carbon plate out, make this the new Kinvara, charge $50 less, that might do it. And looks, very simple, very plain, you'd probably not, be able to tell on camera, but this uh, lower level of power run midsole material is sort of like a like a purple, violet, very, very light, off white. That's weird. I'm not totally sold on the looks. I think Kinvara's have run the gamut of both. They're, yeah, that's awesome looking and that's not so great. I think this is sort of in the not so great category. Very sterile. Not always a good thing. Sometimes it's fine. Maybe not here. Okay, bringing us to our conclusion. I like these. I like them a lot. The Convara Pro has sort of made my brain think back to the original Convara, which a lot of the more recent Convaras haven't been able to do. So the Convara Pro feels like it's a better homage to the original than even the Convaras are now. I, that's sort of my distilled thought. Uh, it's super fun, very dynamic, gonna be very responsive. So not super plush, but I don't think you're looking at the shoe for plushness. I think we have a classic mix of super shoe that resulted in a dang fun shoe that might even get you a PR at your next big road race. So I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of here for it. A little expensive. Buy, try, or why? It's a buy. I, have you been noticing sort of my excitement about talking about this shoe? I've done treadmill miles on it, road miles, and it just, I don't know. I'm just kind of excited to see it back. I feel like, the Convara is back, and that makes it worth it to me. So check it out, it's a buy. Uh, tables now turn to you, my friends. Have you tried the Convara Pro? Is it something that is even on your radar? Would you choose it over the Speed or the Pro from the Endorphin line, or is it like, I don't know, man, I'm not gonna do that. Is that how you talk? Let me know in the comments of this video. Let's get that conversation going. Otherwise, that's it. Join the GR crew. Uh, if you want more information about the shoe or if you want to get a pair for yourself, I have affiliate links in the description. It'll take you over to Running Warehouse. They cost you nothing. They help the channel out. So rather than lining the pockets of the Bezoses of the world, why not consider using those links? And it does kick a little back to the channel. We appreciate it very, very much. Um, but that's it. We hope you're getting out there training hard, racing harder, and partying the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.